orthopedic rehab specialist presents the News 10 Sports Blitz. Good evening, everyone. Welcome into the Sports Blitz. I'm Kellen Buddy. That's Fred Human. Fred, we're whittling down to the last few teams here in the state of Michigan. Yeah, Kellen, I'm Fred Human and always have been, as I like to say. And we have three of our teams with a sight set on a trip to Motown next weekend for the state finals, including one of the teams playing in the game you were at, right, Kellen? Yeah, that's right. The DeWitt Panthers hosting Muskegon. A chilly afternoon at Lansing Catholic. The Panthers lost to Muskegon in last year's semifinals, looking for some revenge today. All defense here. You see the Panthers getting the fumble. That turns into an offensive chance for DeWitt and a touchdown run from Andrew Debris trucking his way into the end zone. Panthers up 7 to nothing in the third quarter. Muskegon with a fourth down chance in the fourth quarter. Amari Crowley's pass caught by Miles Walton. The refs say, though, he was out of bounds. So the Panthers get the ball and they move down the field quickly. This caps off Tyler Holtz. He won't be taken down into the end zone for the score, getting some help from his lineman. All the Panthers would need is a defensive stop, and it's Andrew Debris again. He's got the interception. That seals the deal. DeWitt heading to Ford Field for the first time since 2013. They'll face defending champions River Rouge. And I'm just so proud of the, the composure that they had. You know, I mean, we made plays like we always always do this season with when we needed to, and just an unbelievable group of kids. I'm, I'm so Obviously, we got another game that we're we do everything we possibly can to win, but I'm so happy they get an opportunity to go compete for it because this group deserves it. Great coach, great win in the Division IV semifinal. Williamston invading the Oklahoma Chieftain Stadium, playing host to Detroit Country Day. A defensive stalemate all day. Here's Country Day quarterback Brandon Mann with a second quarter scramble, and he fires downfield to Jacob Yarbury for a first and goal. This is the play it's set up. A pitch to freshman Gabe Winowich. He gets the outside edge into the end zone. Willie blocked the extra point. Six nothing at the half. Fourth quarter country day throwing to the end zone. Here's the big defensive play of the day for the Hornets. Caden Poxton with the pick. And Williamston is still alive, but the Hornets could not move an offense. This play ices it. Brandon Mann goes up the gut for a DCD touchdown. Williamston's season comes to an end. A tough 12-0 loss. What was Coach Steve Kirsten most proud of his team this year? The senior leadership. I mean, you have to have great leadership when um, when you're on and, off, on and off again, when you're having practice, not having practice, when you're playing in the snow, when you're not. And uh, our seniors were outstanding. Outstanding people. I mean, obviously outstanding players, but more so outstanding people. And the leadership they've done and shown um, will carry them far in life. And I look forward to seeing where these guys will be 10 years from now. Great perspective from the coach. Division 5 at Frankenmuth, where Lansing Catholic tried to punch a ticket to Ford Field with a victory. The Eagles on offense here. Frankenmuth goes to Connor Roche, takes it into the end zone from five yards out. Frankenmuth up 21-7. The Cougars are playing without backup quarterback Alex Waters because last week their starter was injured, of course. He fires this left-hand pass downfield to Matt DeLuca. 20-yard touchdown connection, and it's 21-14. But Frankenmuth has a shifty quarterback. He made plays all day. Davin Reith here for 25 yards on the scamper. Cougars end their season, losing 35-14 at Frankenmuth. Kellen? All right, we'll go out to Brighton, Portland, St. Patrick, taking on Powers North Central. Both teams at 10-0 on the eight-man front. The Jets are going to get on the board first. Quarterback Luke Gorzinski, he'll go in. The two-pointer is good. 8-0 Jets. Portland be scoreless until the second quarter. Connor Cross lobbing it to Seth Frawley. Nice play there. That makes it 10-6 after a safety. It's going to be Gorzinski again for the Jets. He goes up the left side into the end zone. The Jets fly away with the eight-man title. Portland St. Patrick falling 70-48. to Portland St. Pat's got to their third state championship in the last four years. They lost in 2017 and 2019, and unfortunately, it didn't go their way today. But after a crazy long, unprecedented season, they're just grateful they got to play some January football. They didn't get uh, give up one one time this whole year, no matter what was in front of them, including today. And, uh, they knew what was facing them uh, today, and uh, kids just stepped up. We we're missing some kids, and. Uh, we, they knew they had to step up, and they just did. Yeah, they've been answering the call all year long. Uh, we're disappointed, but happy with our play. And Powers North Central takes the win 70 to 48 and wins the eight man Division II state championship. In Brighton, Natalie Kerwin, News 10 Sports. <laughs> all right, thanks a lot, Natalie. So the DeWitt Panthers heading to Ford Field. That's going to be an exciting one. We'll be there. We'll have coverage 
right here on WILX a week from tonight. Yeah, four local teams playing on January 16th. It was great. Who would have thought we'll take football whenever we can get yeah. it? Well, that's another blitz for us tonight. That's Fred Hume and I'm Kellen Buddy. Maureen, back to you.